San Diego. Mm, drink it in. It always goes down smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day before Thanksgiving, it's brew day. Be doing what I'm referring to as a uh, San Diego bitter, meaning I'm going to take like a traditional British style beer and hop it up uh, West Coast style. I'm going to be using Centennial, Sriracha Ace, and Citra hops. And uh, as far as the ounces go, we'll see. But using an ESB yeast, and this one's actually going to be a brew in the bag. So I'm going to be using all all malt, no extract, or I should say all grain, no extract on this one. So. Sort of a uh, so it's a cool fall day here. Um, so I'm brewing in the garage. So we're trying to get the strike water up to about 170 and uh, put in about nine pounds worth of grain there. Okay, so we hit our target temperature and uh, grain bags in there. So I'm just trying to get the water stir it into it as best I can. We don't want any pockets in that bag where it might not get wet. So we're going to start our mash here. Go for an hour. Okay, so we just uh, sparged the grain bag and now we're trying to heat up to a boil here. Head on over here. Here's the uh, here's the bag of grains. I mean, this is this is not something I would recommend doing. Um, it's definitely best if you actually get a proper mash ton going. But um, I figure since this is such a low ABV beer, that I might as well just do the uh, grains in a bag kind of deal. It's just really hard to maintain temperature and to get a, a proper uh, sparging of the grains to, to really get all those sugars. But um, Anyway, that's what I'm going with with this since it's just going to be a really, really, really light beer. So uh, I'm trying to get up to a boil right now. And then I'm going to add in some Belgian candy sugar to help the uh, get the alcohol content up a little more. And then uh, we'll get the uh, hop additions in. Okay, since it's such a low ABV beer, I'm adding in some, uh, some dark candy sugar, which I had left over from my last batch. So we're putting it in the strainer and... Uh, Get that melted in there. I don't want to dump it in on the bottom and, and get it, you know, torched and caramelized all that. So I found this is probably the best way to add stuff like candy sugar and, and chocolate as well. Just use a strainer and get it up to a boil and let it melt in. Okay, we're about to do first hop addition. Ooh, that smells so awesome. Centennial hops. Um, if you've had Maharaja, there's a lot of other ones like Big Eye IPA. Just have this hop variety in spades. So this is a 10.5% alpha acids. So we're going to use one ounce. So I'm going to try to get out one ounce of these things. Throw them in the boil here. Fortunately, I can only eyeball it. These are whole leaf centennial hops. Gonna give it a nice bitter quality. These things add a lot of citrus character to it as well. Grapefruit. Get those stirred in there. Now I know the dark candy sugar is definitely not traditional for the style, but I was worried that my uh, my sparging wouldn't and my efficiency of my grains wouldn't uh, be very high since I'm doing the uh, grains in a bag. So I figured I'd fortify it a little bit with that candy sugar um, which might make it a bit darker than the style would call for but that's all right four ounces so four eight so I need like an eighth of this I need like an eighth so in the cup no, the cup the cup doesn't do anything. There's some sriracha ace going in. Oh, I spilled some. Mmm, real nice. Mmm. 
smells delicious. So we want another 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I'll put us at 50 minutes and then let's get some of the citra in there. Man, these hops smell awesome. So I'm just like eyeballing let's, it here. Let's give it, let's give it a show of the label here. Citra. Citra hops. I'm guessing that's probably about a, uh, probably about a half ounce each. I mean, they're, they're coming four ounce pack, so we'll see. Actually, let's throw a little more citra in there. Dry hopping with citra pellets, so those smell extra hoppy, more so than the other ones. Yeah, the citrus are 13.4 percent, so they're like really high alpha acids, so they're gonna have a lot of like aroma and a flavor to that, this. That thing. signature hop smell really comes out of those, you know. It did just well, yeah, crack for a grapefruit. I thought it's crackling, it's just a spoon on the bowl, huh? Yeah, it smells good. Which one's this? Sriracha Ace. See all the lupulin glands on the side? I'm trying to like scrape them off. There's the yellow stuff. So I'll get the most. Uh... Okay, so I got some uh, nu yeast nutrient that I'm going to be pouring in. Hopefully much... that will help out with the, the fermentation process. How much was that? It was... Um, yep. I think it was a half a teaspoon worth and then I put in some warm water and then uh, we're going to put the, uh, the word chiller in and sanitize that since we had 10 minutes to go. So uh, we're going to get this sucker sanitized while it's boiling and I'm probably going to pick up the heat since that was a little cool. Yeah, got to get that back up to a boil. We're not boiling off as much as I'd like at this point, but um, that's all right. Some uh, citra hops at flame out here. We just turned it off. It just got done boiling. So, uh, I don't know. That was probably close to three quarters of an ounce of citra. I'm just guessing here. I, I really need to get a scale. more sriracha in there. Maybe a half, probably half an ounce of sriracha ace. So we're gonna let those steep it flame out. Okay, morning after and it's been so cool here that my garage is cold. The freezer that I usually do my controlled uh, temperature fermentations is uh, too cool for, for this right now. So I'm hoping it might warm up today so I can move it, but right now I just have it uh, in my house, wrapped in blankets. Um, it's definitely warmer in here in the garage. And uh, I pitched the east at 9.45 last night, and it's about 8.45 right now, and I'm getting some activity there. That bowl's just from the sanita sanitation uh, solution that I used the, for, the, uh, for that airlock. So let's keep things sanitized in, the, in there. But uh, in less than 12 hours, I'm getting some uh, decent activity already. So yeast are happy, and that's a good sign, so we'll see how this one turns out.